When I think about yesterday My, oh my My, oh my A kiss and so I did I removed all the honeysuckle from the entry. This arch was full of honeysuckle and it kept getting aphids like crazy every season and I decided that was it. I didn't want to deal with it. So I planted an Eden rose from heirloom roses right here and it's been growing pretty good even though I planted it late in the season but hopefully next year it will take off after it has a little more time and my intent is to wrap it all around if you have not seen Eden Rose it is absolutely a stunning kind of that color of the impatient really bright type pink like a, I don't know if you can see with this with this um, sun but that kind of color is absolutely stunning so I'm really excited and then I have a little pot here and this has been so happy these are like roses if you remember when i planted all these these have survived so well i love the purpley leaf on this with a green variegation it's a stunning plant and this ornamental oregano one of my favorites every year to plant it gives the little purple flower there so i really love this little corner when you come in next to the coop this secret garden to me feels like a sanctuary it is really a haven it's so peaceful and i just really love spending time here this is where i don't feel stressed because there's not a lot of maintenance so it's always good to have a spot in your garden that is super peaceful and doesn't bring stress. When I designed the sacred garden, I designed with four components in mind. And that is the entry that you saw before. And then where I'm at on the right side is the food forest. And on the left side is mostly just a forest for the wild birds to have a place to live and feed and pollinators to be welcome and then a living room that has my working bench and a relaxed areas i have a peach tree here this is a miniature peach tree this one has a little peach right here and this one is a snow bait miniature peach so it's white the flesh is white and i'm so happy the bunny has not been interested in it I have a lot of calendula that today I'm going to go ahead and harvest. I need to get that going and cut some of the seeds so it keeps going. This is a super busy map petunia. And I have some sage on this pot. I have to clean, get these out, the dead ones. So I have a little bit of work to do here. And this is another David Austin rose. And I have to tie all the stakes that are new, but he has a bunch of new bots coming out. And you can see the color is, that is spent there, but they're like a blush, beautiful soft blush color. And then this, I have a few citrus trees. This one gave so many flowers. So I'm hoping it will get fruit, but we'll see what happens i saw a lot of bees on it it has never given fruit i've had it for like a couple years now and you're not supposed to need two of them but if it doesn't do anything i may either get rid of it um not get rid of it like give it to someone um because i can have two of each i did that with this meyer lemon i got this new one here and i think I have one little Meyer lemon growing there. I just got this not that long ago. And this one, after I got the second one, gave me, started giving me a fruit right there. 
so it may be that it needs this one kept dropping the leaves but I think some of the roots are not covered so I need to put some soil on that but I have the feeling with two it just does a lot better oh my gosh oh, the peach it fell down look how pretty this is another little miniature peach tree how pretty oh I can't wait to try this I thought it needed more time but it fell off fell down um I think there's another one here let's see I'm surprised the bunny did not get it there were two of them I don't know hmm I'll see the second one. There was two in one of these, but so this one is called Pixie Miniature Peach. One of these, I think, is this one doesn't need to be pollinated. The other one does, but I recommend you get two because you're gonna get more fruit. I just got this, so it's not gonna give a ton of fruit when I just got it not that long ago. And it is on the ground they don't grow that large so it's okay to have them in a space that's tight like this one this is my colonnade green apple and this one is called it looks gonna look like this so it gives the fruit right on the this is golden sentinel colonnade apple and i have a few apples on it this one is starting to turn red there's another one here again another one pretty new another citrus tree here this this one is a uh, lime and i don't see anything again i think you need two of them now this is a current that i started from seed it did nothing so that's a bust. I won't be growing that again unless I put it on the ground. And the bunny that's living over here ate all the pansies, so I have to cut this back. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest. I do have a lavender plant here that I planted this year. And this is a dahlia that is sweet Natalie. It has not bloomed yet, but I dug out all the dahlias but I guess this tuber stayed in the ground and we didn't realize it and it's blooming here but I don't intend to grow dahlias or flowers on this side I'm trying to do nothing but things that are edible so yeah so it's doing pretty good and then my narcissum is flowering like crazy here and if you don't know you can eat the leaves make pesto out of it and you can eat the flowers on salad it's a great plant to have it's also a crop trap uh, the aphids love it so before it goes into anything else it will get full of aphids if you have an issue with aphids it's a great plant to have but i'm gonna go ahead and harvest with you and oh i love this sage this variegated sage is so pretty it's one of my favorites in the garden that's doing really well Beneath a starlit sky, our love secret line, like leaves we soar so high. Beneath the moonlight, self touch your hand in mine, it gets me every time. I do have a potting bench here that we built from scratch. I'll be doing a video at some point on exactly how we did it. And it's, I love this little corner. I have a couple of baskets here that work really well. I keep my soil in one and a container on the other. And then I have a little step stool here. And then I'm gonna be working on planting these succulents for inside of the, ho the house. I have some plants and then all my tools are back here and some shelves 
have a harvesting basket over here and I keep some of the ferns that cannot get a lot of sun right in the corner there. I have my wheelbarrow on the back of this panel. We got a lot of these woods at a salvage uh, place but I'll go through all this and then I have a garbage right in the back of it and a little sitting area on this side and I have a bucket that collects water and I use that water this whole corner works so well for us I like this corner because when it gets sunny everywhere else it will be shaded here if it's hot out and I can work on this table and store my tools with a little roof on top it just works nicely my tools don't get all wet and rusted Here's a sweet potato vine. I just love it. It just frames this area really well. I caught most of these so that it opened up some more. And the bad news is I have a bunny in the garden. You can see it's a baby bunny. She ate this entire hollyhock. <laughs> but this one is too big so she only ate the bottom ones down there and this will be blooming it's starting to open you can see it right there so i'm really happy the hollyhocks did so good this year they i just cannot believe they're blooming already i have my pot that you saw me uh, buying all those plants for they're doing still pretty good the petunias are the ones that are doing, not doing the greatest so i'm going to be cutting these back and see if they come back if they don't that's fine i have this hydrangea here that i think i'm going to be either moving or giving it as a gift to a friend i think i want to do something that takes the sun more and it's really beautiful it gives this beautiful white and blue flowers so i think i'm going to be doing a switch and I need to research a little bit to see which are going to be the best ones for a small area. You can see this is just gotten huge. My husband and brother helped me with this. They put a metal stake there to hold it up because it was falling sideways after the storm and the shape is becoming so beautiful and what I like about it is it's getting now into the pathway so I could come and just cut some of these branches so it doesn't grow really wide really pretty and then on this side I have a little basket with flowers and I need to water everything is pretty dry but everything is doing really well in here look how pretty these are they give this blue flower and i love the dark leaves are absolutely stunning it's glossy and the shape and size are really nice there's my miniature red maple i have a shasta daisy here just everything is in Kind of transition right now and then the rose that i moved which i thought would not be doing good at all this is a david eston rose and i moved it from a flat panel i had in the secret garden to this trellis and it wasn't looking too good but actually it's doing really well it's flowering plenty you can see there it has some more blooms there i just have to tie them i haven't done that yet 
and then this hydrangea this is the first year for it is doing incredible just stunning the color is so pretty it starts white and then it goes into this light sort of beigey tone and then blush and then it turns into this rich sort of pink mauve color I love this tree I do think I need to put a metal stake something to support it but it's beautiful it frames this view so well I really like it.